I'm gonna do a Q&A Mate Monday today and I'll do it as a voiceover with uh, some speed paintings in the background. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia Fallum. I am an artist. I study culture, languages, uh, diversity, and different religions. And I paint and teach what I learn, and I paint in response to the things that I All learn. All right, hey guys, let's get to it. Uh, first question comes from Trey G. How do you feel about white people, people that are not black, having dreadlocks? I'm. Um, I don't have an issue with it. I think that black hair is suited great for dreadlocks. It happens very quickly. It is a very natural style, which I love. Um, I also really think it's cute when girls have the little swishies in the front, um, like the straight bangs. Uh, I think that's super adorable. And um, I think white people can have awesome dreadlocks as well. Uh, I think there's the, the issues I have with race and, and hairstyle, I think for me personally came from uh, the idea that you relax your hair so that you don't have this big afro so that it's you're hiding your your blackness from people and I think trying to be white I think that's to me was really really sad and I think for me to have dreadlocks was part of uh well for me to go natural stop relaxing my hair was to really embrace like how God had created me and embrace what the features he'd given me and going from that to dreadlocks was more of a practical decision of I want to go camping and backpacking and I lived in Laramie Wyoming where it was cold and my hair would literally freeze when I washed it outside and so um I think the race topic has more to do with why I have dreadlocks rather than what other people should or shouldn't have. The second question I'll answer is, have you received criticism from more conservative Christians on wild things? Uh, we go way back on YouTube, so thank you for asking this. Yes, I have. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video if you want that. Um, I think people from both sides tend to think that my views are not right, uh, <laughs> which is okay. I think I, I don't necessarily fall in the middle, but I... I'm not, uh, I don't adhere to most political uh, polarizing ideas. Like I don't, I don't fit either side exactly. Like um, I, I don't know how to explain that. Maybe I'll do a longer video if you're curious about more, but to answer your question, yes or no, yes, um, absolutely. Uh, the third one, Richard Santiago asked about conducting workshops. I actually did a separate video on this. Um, he's an amazing graffiti artist though, so you should check him out. I will, if I don't do it before this goes up, remind me and I will put his name down below so you can check out his art as well. Um, the next one comes from No Not Human 100. Are there any art jobs that you can do with low drawing skills? Uh, yes, probably. I would say if you want to do anything in the arts, focus on your drawing. Drawing is one of the most important basic techniques um, that you should know and have a grasp on before you move on to the other areas. I think your other areas will lack if you don't have drawing skills as well as the basic fundamentals of art. Um, there are more questions, but I'm running out of time. So thank you guys. If you have more questions, put them below. And I'll try to, if you like this format, I will try to do more. So thanks guys. I hope to see you around. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe and find me over on Instagram. I am more consistently posting over there. However, I do videos when I get the chance in between all the other chaos of life. So thank you for watching. If you have comments or you agree or disagree, put it down below. See you guys.